over here. Does anybody remember uh, MC Hammer? Too legit. Too legit to quit. That same album, Too Legit to Quit, the first song is called This is the Way We Roll. This is the way we roll, we roll. This is the way we roll. Or no, I'm being silly. Just the title of the title of the stream. Yeah, I got a dragon behind me. I'm just living here. I had it there for other reasons yesterday. D and D. Ah, oh, love that campaign. Okay, so uh, we've got uh, we got our Reaper gear dyed up. We have the Lamidsons with their blasphemy. We uh, got our tank gear dyed up. Dyed up. Helping Gardania. Now, we go into physical rage with uh, Machinist. It is not diable yet. Right now, it looks like I have some sort of Tommy gun or uh, automatic rifle, whatever that is. You know. <sighs> there's a different gun I want. want I need to work on. I think would be. I like better. And that's the. It's just getting um, the uh, Shadowbringer's Relic weapon. Just get it up to where it gets all shiny. It doesn't increase stats or anything, but I think it becomes diable and shiny. That's all. Alright, let's go help the Domans. Do my nines deceive me? Must Emigos. Oh, thank the Kami. Lord Yan has requested assistance in the resolution of the most urgent matter, the hunt for a fell beast believed to be a blasphemy. Though we have made great strides in ensuring the safety of our people, we fear even our finest shinobi will be no match for this enemy, for it commands the skies of Toma. But as you, your talent for striking down foes at a distance is beyond compare, I can think of no one better to aid us in the over, overcoming this adverse adversity. Would be my pleasure. Well, if no other monk is up to the task. So I like the 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 I will absolutely do it and like uh, if I have to. <laughs> oh call me be praised. I shall inform Lady Yagiri that she may receive you at the Domen Enclave. Safe travels, Master Amigos. Alright, so for right now, let's uh, put the visor up. I'm not in the thick of battle. That's the nice thing about these goggles, is like, put them up, put them down. Wait. The, the job gear for Shadowbringers had a similar thing. The only thing is, on a Hrothgar, because it's a big old hat, and there there's some goggles that go along with it, it's actually really kind of cool. Cool. You could put the goggles up and down, right? Right? But Hrothgars can't wear hats. It is a deficiency of, uh, of Final Fantasy XIV. The lack of being able to wear hats. 
on Viera and Hrothgar. There's a few you can wear, but few and far between. Look, I will tell you this. There is some amazing looking gear in this game. I love it. But the MOG system, aka the, the glamour system, sucks donkey balls. It is the worst. The end game is glam, but we're completely hindered. I think part of it is trying to get the, the idea of which glams will I actually have have available to me and how do I do it? I need to buy more glamour crystals. Meanwhile, over in WoW, there's expenditure, gold. In WoW, you get a piece of gear that you could wear. You learn the piece of gear! You now know this appearance! It is permanently in your in your possession! So what's the limit on this? Well, in order to transmog, you need to go to a transmogrifier. And you got couple ways to do it. There's transmogs in basically every big major city. Like like the, the, the in Orgrimmar and in Orgrimmar in uh, Stormwind in Ouroboros um, basically those big main city, cities. It's not like fully everywhere um, like your garrisons you, if you get up get your uh, storehouse up to the highest level as a transmog. I don't think like Thunder Bluff, some of the side cities do. Uh, but the the main big city of the expansion and then all then the capital cities of of the factions have it. You just go to them and and pay some pay some gold and you can even set some gear sets. Uh, you can use gear sets like actual it, it has a log of like here's the gear set and it also tells you where you can find it even better right so downside out in the world at large large you, you can't unless you buy this specific mount which costs several thousand gold of uh, uh, the uh, travelers or the grand expedition yak which has a transmogrifier That way you can, and I, I, I would do that all the time. I'd be like, "Ooh, new piece of gear. Oh, I need to go back to my set. That pop them, <laughs> pop them out. Click the transmogrifier. Quickly mog, mog. Go about my day, <laughs> right? Nice consistency. But every time you mog, you spent gold. Usually, it was it for the amount of gold you have and, and you get through doing quests and objectives and everything in WoW. Yeah, plenty. I mean, when you start, yeah, mogging is not going to be that great. But as you continue up, sell stuff, blah, 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 you know, you'll acquire a bunch of gold. There's several thousand gold, at least. Uh, getting to a million gold is actually not that easy. Uh, a million gold, actually, it's not, it's not terribly hard, but it's not that easy. It's anyways. Nice. Uh, one thing about this is uh, here is when you are are in a city, you can use glamour plates to glamour, but you only have like fifty that you can program in, and you have had to put the piece of gear into your uh, glamour. Chest, glamour dresser. So you use basically use a glamour prism once. But when you're out in the field, you can still glamour too, just by right clicking and hit cast glamour and select whatever. You have, but you have to have that in your in your bags. So there's this just a whole bunch of different issues.
All right, moving on. Back to you, Gary. Here. That was my my glamour rant. I kind of miss WoW. I kind of just wanted to like. Once once I've gotten to a point in Final Fantasy for. I wouldn't say I was bored, but I've got enough done, and it's like, I don't really have as much motivation to get into the game. You know, my objectives are pretty much complete. I'm not really in a rush to it. I don't feel like it or something. Just went on a break from Final Fantasy, which is perfectly fine. Yoshi P even says, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Once you're done with what you're done, just go ahead and subscribe for a few months until the next batch got done. It's fine. You know, because we want you to have fun. We don't want it to be work. This, this is a game. Fun. Wow. Why don't you, why don't you stay subscribed? Here's a bonus for subscribing for six months. Um, mindset's completely different. Although, if you take the mindset that Yoshi P gives for Final Fantasy and just apply that to WoW and ignore all the bullshit that that Blizzard does sometimes, uh, trying to keep you subscribed. You'd probably be happier with WoW. <laughs> Might subscribe and just go back, maybe play through through patch content. Not try hard or anything. Uh, uh, and just, you know, do fun shit like collect transmog. Oh my gosh. That is one of my favorite things to do when I was playing WoW. It was like, I would just go back to old raids and solo them. Sometimes it's fun just because of the, because especially the newer older raids. <laughs> there's there can still be some difficulties in doing mechanics because you still die from them. Um, and just basically, I we've got the collections tab. You go to the transmog session. You can look at every every different uh, appearance in the freaking game that you can wear, and just this like goal and chances, and, like running all these dungeons, and it's shared across all your characters. Now that would be fun. I might, I might even do that, just once I settle down here. I might subscribe just for a month, just a month. Just pay for one month, 15 bucks, one month. I'll pay the full price. I won't get that discounted for doing multiple months. I'll just do one month, month, and play some more. Been a while. Anyways. It's good to see you, Amigos. When we receive word that you of all people has answered our call, we'd scarcely believe it. Yet here you are. This is totally not Yugiri's voice. That's okay. Lord Hien will be pleased for this reunion. If you would wait here a moment. I need to refill my coffee soon, so... I might take a break. Not, like, immediately. I, I still got some. Let's see if I can do a decent he and voice. I've been listening to his voice recently on another character. Well, well, that the Kami would guide your steps to my door once more and most fortuitous timing. Pray forgive me for not affording you a well hero's welcome, but time is not on our side. Not long after receiving word of men transforming into hideous beasts in Thavnir, a similar creature was born of a woman in Isari. After attacking another villager, it took to the skies and fled, though to where we do not know. We know not. An all too cruel fate, a twist of fate, for the one slain was among the prisoners returned to us by the in that deplorable exchange with the Sahi and the Empire, just when they had at last begun to piece their life together. This blasphemy must be stopped. Alas, our foe won't is one to keep to the skies, well beyond the reach of our samurai and shinobi. Thus did we seek the aid of those proficient in range combat, and to able to pluck the beasts from the heavens. Of course, martial prowess alone will not solve our problems. Others have turned into weak 
it turned into weaker but less gruesome abominations, as was the case in Thavnir, and their numbers increased by the day. From what I understand, the phenomenon is not unlike a sickness which spreads by feeding on fear and anxiety. Emotions, which of late, can be found in abundance. Slaying the beast means nothing if the people's hearts cannot be put at ease. Lord Ian! <sighs> you have to help! The villagers! They... they... Sir, please calm yourself and tell us what happened. Another has been turned into my, my, my lord. For a blessing, no, no one has, was harmed. For, and when the beast flew into a rage, but the people, people are in panic. I fear what might happen may happen next. It would seem we have even less time than I thought. Worry not. We will see to the beast. As of yet, there is no cure for the affliction, but we will save, save what le lives we can. I promise you. I trust you can. You are ready to join the fray. Nope, there's a nod. I was last see, seen near the glittering basin. Come, I will show you. Yay, leg. I was planning on making a, a um, meatloaf before yeah, it comes out loud tonight, so I might actually cut out early. Do two hours. Two, two hours. Gives me time to put it together and cook it for podcast. Beast was right here. I swear it. I thank you for leading us here, but it is not safe. Please return to your village. Vexed villager. I like how they do alliterations. We should split up if we have any chance of finding it. Emigos, would you see to the west? I will search to the north. Dirty, I leave the east to you. If you find it, remember, these blasphemies are no longer people. They will not hesitate to strike you down, but you mustn't either. Now, let us not waste any t more time. Okay, right, put my goggles on. Like a good machinist. Oh, you're right. I heard Shannon came as fast as we could. It would appear Amigos arrived not a moment too soon. Why? Why did you kill my brother? <gasps> Your brother? 
Young man, that creature is not your kin. Not anymore. Had he not laid, laid it to rest, it would have killed you and countless others. But if your heart cries out for one to blame, let it be me. The beast was slain at my behest, for it was the only way. No! No, you're wrong! You killed him! Murder him! I hate you! Ise, what are you doing here? Searching for Tombo, though clearly you found him first. The monster was was his older brother, as you may have guessed, and Tombo gave chase the moment it ran off. I beg you forgive him for his outburst. His brother was all he had left. Their father was conscripted by the Empire and was regrettably not among those returned to us in the recent exchange of prisoners. The hope that they might one day be reunited was their only comfort when, when that and the voice Viceroy still ruled. I can only imagine how they felt when she walked into his sari, the shadow of her former self. Suyu may have had no memories of the monster, as she was, but her victims still see her in her dreams. Nevertheless, like many, the brothers, brothers prayed her mercy would see their fo family restored. But then they learned of her death and of her, their father's absence. Deprived of hope, of, of hate all at once, they had nothing. Oh, my, my, my apologies for Remley. No, no. It was rather an enlightening tale. I spared the woman who brought, the woman who brought him pain and took the brother who brought him comfort. I... I would hate me too. I swear, I will set things right for Tombo, for all the people of Doma. Please return home, Ise, and be safe. Let us return to the Doman Enclave. This ordeal has given me much to consider. Donations. Let us go and enjoy the 10,000 stalls in all its glory. Oh! Oh my gosh! I hadn't done this yet? I'm waiting for you to arrive, blah blah. skip this. I've seen it before.
I get all this material in, I don't really use it. Real solid. This is part of the Domen Restoration. The nice thing about the Domen Restoration, all it is is just, like, selling stuff. My my domain restoration with it. So now we can continue. Are you a great debt for your timely assistance and an apology for if I have made you an executioner of young Tom in young Tombo's eyes? Would that I have been the one who he witnessed cut down the beast his brother had become? We hadn't time to dwell, dwell on regrets and what should have been. No, we need to take action. And after hearing of Tombo and his brother, I believe I know what must be done. A great many of our brothers and sisters have returned to us in the prisoner exchange, but even so, there are those who yet remain lost to us. Meanwhile, Yatsuyu, who is directly responsible for much of the people's suffering, is never held to account for her crimes. In death, she claimed vengeance of her suffering at the hands of her brother, but it came at the expense of justice for her countless vis victims. The people of Doma have every right to resent me for failing them and their grief, but what of those who cannot bring themselves to do even that? 
who are left alone with their anger and their pain. May well, well give, a, give way to despair, and then... They would share the same fate as Tombo's brother, yes. Which is why we must needs consider who else might share in his anguish, ere we find ourselves beset on, by more beasts. I will begin making rounds of the villages to inquire about those whom neighbors believe are mo more distressed of late. Very good. I and the other shinobi shall continue our search for the blasphemy which set these events in motion. And you, my friend, you will have... We will have need of your talents again ere long. Rest assured, you will. F we will keep you a pre Rest assured, we will keep you a I thought he was going to tell me to rest. Okay, this is XY Cell Day 90. <laughs> I told you I was going to get a new dungeon so that it was at least close to 90. <laughs> so, so that I would dig it along the <laughs> while I do these quests. Right, Migos, we have yet to ascertain the whereabouts of the blasphemy from Misari, but for blessing we have received no reports of others that have turned. Lord Hien, for his part, had made a concerted effort to go about the villages and converse with the, his subjects directly. I suspect his constant presence has served to allay the pe people's fears. As one might expect, he has ever been dedicated and diligent, but I fear he has been away over long. I thought to go and visit what should have been his last destination. Sorry, might I ask you to accompany me? Thank you. I'm sure there is no cause for concern, but nevertheless, you'd be glad to find him quickly. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the mine and fly up, because that will fly up to the Ruby Sea. Amigos, you giddy. My apologies if I gave you cause for concern. Assessing the state of affairs here in Asari has proven difficult. Put it simply, the people, one and all, refuse to speak with me. They simply bow their heads and turn away at my approach. When the blasphemy originated here, I cannot help but wonder if that has ought to do with their silence. Perhaps you, would <clears throat> you could attempt to engage with the people in my stead. Surely there is no cause to delay the two of you. I should hope not. Nevertheless, I will don a disguise, lest I draw undue attention. Come on, Magos, let us see what we can discover. Thank you, both of you. Oh, great debt to Lord Yan. If not for him, I would, would still be fighting under the Imperial Standard. But the village suffered dearly under the occupation. What's more, our Lord failed to punish the Viceroy for her crimes and failed to reunite many with her, their loved ones. I understand why some would think poorly of him, even if I do not. Blasphemy? You're a mistake, my friend. A village is visited not by a monster, but a kami. Is an army. Where Lord Yen is cold and callous, she offers us boundless compassion and love. Okay, that's odd. Up here? Yeah. 
Ah, that's right. The blasphemy was born of a young woman here in Asari. Tragic, really. Every day she prayed for the safe return of her husband, but it's not to be. If I am to be honest, I fear the loss drove her this poor stepmother, her poor stepmother mad. Kise has ever been a devoted believer in the Kami and the blessings, but she's somehow convinced herself that Minato has become one. The delusions of the of a grieving parent, obviously, but an alarming number of people have come to share in her belief. Hearsay is what it is. Exposition. I see. Little wonder they would refuse to confide in me. The belief held by some of the that this blasphemy is a kami, however, however, is quite concerning. Is an army presides over life and death. She gave birth to the nation of Doma and ushers souls of the departed into the land of the dead. I trust you understand that we mean to deny them a source of hope in such dark times, even one such as this. The villagers who claim this Kise can speak with the dead. In fact, she will be, be holding a gathering to demonstrate her powers there long. A perfect opportunity to gauge the extent of their fanaticism. Not for me, of course. My presence would draw undue attention. Might I ask that you both attend in my stead? The fathers will be gathering, gathering at the tavern. Come. Oh, I should have put up my goggles. Oh well. Oh, spirits of Asari, I beseech you, lend me your voice and let your presence be known. Cross the veil and be among us once more. Father, still tending the nets like I taught you. Y yes, Father, every day. Thanks to you, I never want for fish. My bellies are never empty. I was. I am proud to be your son. I was always too embarrassed to tell you before, but... And I am proud to have been your father. May you be ever blessed by the sea's bounty. Oh, it hurts! Father, what's wrong? He is in terrible pain, my child. Those who have cheated death at design yet live. It was disrupt has disrupted the natural order and the spirits suffer to it. But what must we do to ease their pain? Fear not. This army shall put all to rights. She will claim the souls not long for this world and deliver them unto the hereafter. When her work is finished, your father's spirit and all the others will find peace. Can you find my father? Can you help me speak with him? Kise, Kise, can you come in with my husband? What about my family? Help me, Kise, please. Oh. 
So, is Kisei's ability all that she claims? I forgot to put my goggles back, back up. I'm not in battle. Young man spoke with his dearly departed father. Find that rather hard to believe? Even so, those in attendance appeared quite convinced, my lord. And I suspect a great many of the villagers I've spoken will, with recently are as well. Everywhere I went, the people are in so much pain that there is nothing I could do to or say to give them solace. Yet, for all their anguish, there has not been a single report of villagers turning towards the inc since the incident with Tombo's brother. Which can only mean Kisei and her ability to speak with the deceased has, has spread. The belief we can commune with our loved one's death is comfort, far beyond my power to provide. Though I failed to see how the people would abide, would abide the calming, cl claiming innocent lives to restore order. She comes. She comes. It's an army. Bla the blasphemy here. I mean, I should have kept that, but I did keep it. But here in Takami, she appeared as if from nowhere, and the next instant, this poor man was... But we were too late. I'm gonna say I spoke with them before and I'm sorry. I recognize him then. Curious that he and the blasphemy's first victim was blasphemy's first victim was for, former conscripts. What could be could the fiend be after, I wonder? It does not come because does not become my lord, my lord, to speak ill of the kami. I understand you have come to investigate the rumors of a monster born in our village. A blasphemy, you called it. You are sorely mistaken. My stepdaughter, Minato, has chosen to serve as a vessel for Izanami, witness her ascension in my own eyes. Since you recall it, I will too. <laughs> echo, echo. Minato, please. I can't. I won't. There's no logic in it. No justice. Witch of Doma spared, given a second chance, and my husband condemned to die as a conscript. I'll never know what became of him. Lord Hien can't give me in that. And when I look at the families he made whole, their happiness, I feel the hole in my heart and the gaping wound that will never heal begin to bleed. Only by my husband's side will I find peace. 
mustn't lose faith, Benato. All will be well. Trust in the Kami. In Izanami. I want to believe, but... The army has come to bring peace to the souls of the departed, to restore balance between their world and ours. Surely we would not dare to fight the will of the Kami? Now you're going to do more of an older woman. This balance you speak of has claimed the lives of two innocents but recently returned to us. I cannot, I will not accept that the Kami would condone such cruelty. No crueler than the sight of Yatsuyu free and forgiven. Once my husband and son fought Golomald's wars, now dead and forgotten in the foreign land. With all due respect, Lord Hien, is it not your duty to protect Doma and her people? How are we to place our faith in the man who places the enemy's safety and well-being among that for his own subjects? Only the Kami are deserving of our adoration, as they have always been. Put my goggles up. Villagers are no doubt loath to ask, ask it of me, but preparations must be made for burials and funeral rites. I can offer that much at least. You seem distracted during our conversation with Kise. Is something the matter? Exposition! Echo, 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 echo. The echo. The blasphemy was indeed born of a stepdaughter. To bear witness to such horrors, how her mind must have struggled to comprehend what she saw. As a woman of faith, perhaps her only surviving family became one of the divine was the only reality in which she could come to terms. I believe I know now what must be done. I but pray her fervor does not drive her to oppose us. Come, let us return to the Enclave. From what you told me of your vision, the nature of Minato's despair, as well as the focus of her eye, is clear. It is plain she is good-natured and kind-hearted woman, grieving for the loss of her husband. This loss alone may not have been enough to turn her, but her, my failure to hold Yatsuyu to account, together with the sight of other families reunited, compounded the turmoil of her broken heart. The path to despair paved by good intentions, a truth which that will weigh heavier on my conscience until my dying day. Renato was prepared to die in sadness rather than live in hatred. If she could see the beast he, she has become, she would implore us to stop her. Which is why we must find the others who have who were returned to, to us in the prisoner exchange before they come to harm. Once their safety is assured, we may hunt down the blasphemy and bring close, close to their treasure. I get another button. Which is just why I need more buttons. I tell you that another issue is button bloat in in uh, FX FFXIV is uh, a problem. 
Uh, Emma goes, if you come to ask about the after the bless, and you have not to share. As of yet, our shinobi has seen no sign of the beast. The returnees, however, are all accounted for, and Lord Yen has seen them safely to the Kainkan. And as such, he is presently assist assisting with the hunt. For a blessing, there have been no reports of other villagers turning, and yet, before the situation takes a turn for the worse, there is a matter I feel warrants further investigation. Kisei. Though villager of Asari, I suspect she may in fact hail from my home, Suino Sato. Knowing that they would be loath to answer my inquiries, I entreat the Kojin to contact Suino Sato instead. While contact with the outside world is kept to a minimum, they have ever maintained relations with the blue of Tamamizu. As mentioned, mentioned at mention of Kisei, however, their cordial warmth turns strangely cold. If we are to learn more, I fear we have little choice but to go and speak with the people of Suino Sato ourselves. A simple vi visit from you, I imagine, but my banishment requires uh, complicates matters. That said, it's been many years since I left home. Were I to disguise myself, I might well go unnoticed in your company, if you're willing to take the risk. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Uh, let, let us make for on a coral. The garments I wore, wore when we first met. Sufficient, I think, to conceal my identity. <sighs> How many years has it been since I last saw home? I am a shinobi of Domai, but even as a child I sought to ensure the safety and survival of Suino Sato. I was quite bold in those days if not a touch reckless, and together with the other children, I often ventured beyond the borders of home. We yearned for adventure, and so one day we sought to behold the wonders of Doma. Imagine our horror to discover a city of ruin and ash, imperial soldiers marching through the streets, we fled at the sight, and in my haste, I lost my way in the bamboo grove. It was there I first met a young boy named Shun, a sweaty mess as he swung his wooden sword with reckless abandon, training to fulfill his duty as samurai, he said. Having seen the destruction of which the Empire was capable, I too felt the need to protect my home. I joined him in his exercises, and every day my resolve to protect those I love grew. Sadly, my elders refused to listen. They were content to remain hidden beneath the waves, and hopefully the Empire's notice. With a heavy heart, I left in search of the strength I believed we sorely needed. I found it as a shinobi. But the people feared war and conflict would follow on my heels, should I return. I do not begrudge them for their decision, nor do I regret mine own. Part of me is overjoyed at the thought of seeing home again. Openly defying the wishes of the Ruby Princess, however, would bode ill for my family. It would... S have suffered enough for the, my transgressions. That is why, for their sake, I would remain not but a faceless shinobi at your employ. Thank you. With that in mind, 
Let us make for Suino Sato. All these years yet not appears to have changed since the day I left, and now is not the time to reminisce. We have work to do. He says departure from Suino Sato was likely decades ago. Perhaps the village elders would know why she chose to leave. Yuri is now accompanying you. Blah blah blah. Jise? Hmm, that name sounds familiar, and yet... Apologies, friend, my memory is not what it once was. Let us seek out another. Okay. My, it's been quite some time since I last heard that name. She was a pre priestess of the village. Banished after drawing the eye of the former Ruby Princess. What has become of her after all these years, I wonder? Please, is there anything else you can tell us? Hmm. Yunagi was quite close close with her, if memory serves me. Perhaps you should seek her out. Mother. I had hoped to avoid my parents, but there is no other way. Emigos, might I ask you to take the lead? I believe we spoke with them before. Yeah, we spoke with them before we, we visited back in Stormblood. It's good to see you again. To what do we owe the honor of your visit? He say, yes, we were close, but that was a long, long time ago. Still, I can be of can be of assistance to the man of whom we owe so much. I will share all I know. Ise was born to a family of priests, and even at an early age, she was possessed with extraordinary abilities. Much was expected of her, but everything changed the day she said she could speak with the dead. No one believed her at first, but the, she continued to insist she could, and strove to prove it by demonstrating knowledge well beyond your, her years knowledge of events of which she could not have been privy. Word of her talent eventually reached the Ruby Princess, and she was summoned to the she sw of the Violent Tides for a private audience. No one knows what Kisei said to her in the palace, only that the pre princess was incandescent with rage and ordered her exile forthwith. Some believe Kisei revealed a terrible secret of the royal house, or perhaps spoke a blatant falsehood that proved her a liar. Indeed, the knowledge she claimed to divine from the dead was not always truthful, but who is to say the dead would know the truth, or not seek to deceive? Thus, thus could we never be certain it was simply a fantasy or power divine. The one thing that is certain is that no small number of people found comfort in her words. Would that I could tell you more, but sadly I had not seen, seen or spoken with Gizeh since her banishment. Forgive me, but 
Have we met your companion before? He looks familiar. Please, this is the first time I humble. <laughs> ah, is that so? For the briefest of moments, you reminded me of someone quite dear to my heart. Inishinobi, I presume you have heard tales of Yigiri Miss Walker. Should you chance to meet her, may I ask you to deliver a message? Tell her that her mother and father love her, that we could not be more proud of her. I will. I have no doubt she feels the same, and not a day goes by without oh, you in her thoughts. <laughs> I believe we have heard enough. Can we return to Anakoro? Sweet. My apologies for placing you in so peculiar a situation. Though I must confess, it did my heart good to see mother and father well. All the more reason I must do all I can to keep the peace, as Shinobi of Doma, no, as a member of the Eastern Alliance. Mayhaps there will be some day when Suinosato opens to the world, a day when Yugiri Miss Walker can re be reunited with her mother and father. Would that Lord Hien could be afforded the same opportunity, but Lord Kyan Kayan and Lady Mina have long since passed, two of too many lives lost in the Imperial occupation. I cannot imagine he would ever succumb to despair, but make no mistake, Lord Hien knows the pain of his people all too well. I can see it in his eyes, and if I may be honest, he troubles me at times. But perhaps I have said too much. Come, we mustn't keep him waiting. Welcome back. I trust your journey proved an enlightening one. Exposition. So she does, in fact, hail from Suinosato. And you may say she has possessed those divine gifts since childhood? Then we don't know. The people believe her and more flock to her side with every passing day. But the Turnies are safe in the Ki Kankan. Its defense is bolstered. As for blasphemy, I have spoken with our Confederate allies, among others, and together we have established a network of contacts across the length and breadth of Doma to take up the search in the Uranus. Mark my words, we will find it. Alright, I'm going to take a brief pause here, uh, refresh my beverage, uh, use the restroom, be right back.
And a back. Oh, I forgot to refresh my coffee. Come on. Fine. We've arrived not a moment too soon. The blasphemy has been sighted on the coast. For mercy, there is no reported casualties as of yet. Just the man I was hoping to see. No sooner had we cast wide our net than a confederate messenger was at my door. As you would, if you would join us, Rashu, uh, Rashu uh, awaits our arrival in Anokoro. Well now, that the noble lord of Doma would come in person once again. Mayhap these blasphemies truly are a threat. Indeed they are. I am told you and yours sighted our quarry quite recently. Aye, that we did. Near the islands of Shoal Rock, the beasts appeared to to be docile at all accounts, but appearances can be deceiving. If it is, as you say, this blasphemy has eyes only for former conscripts, then we have not to fear. I trust that we accepted they into our care are still yours in the Kaiken. Enjoyed the finest dome in hospitality. Anyway, I know not why it came to the Ruby Sea, nor why it remains idle. But if we act quickly, there is a chance we can take it unawares. I propose we divide our forces. If we are willing to go ashore, we'll take a ship and circle around about the islands. The first to find it will have the honor of the kill. Ha! A simple enough plan? Shall we be off to Shoal Rock, then? Alright, might be getting into to some danger. Let's put those goggles down. This is where the blasphemy was last sighted. If the fates are kind, this will all be over soon. I've got two more quests after this, so no, probably not. This is first encounter. Was, we, we had a similar thing happen with the first one, at least. Here it is. Such speed. I doubt even my falcons could keep pace with it. Ah, don't tell me that blasphemy is flying off into the distance. I'll hope, I hope the ill will it bore, bore me in life might compel the beast to stay and fight. Perhaps less of, less of Minato remains than I thought. Not who? That monstrosity was Minato? You knew her? The family tried to flee to Ngashi, 
during the occupation, but their ship was raided and sunk. When we happened upon the wreckage, she was huddled between her par parents on a th piece of flotsam, desperate to keep warm, but they had long since grown cold. We took her to Anakoro, where we nursed her back to health. Couldn't imagine what horrors she must have witnessed. Uh, mere sight of our weapons was enough to make her start screaming. She was clearly unfit for our trade, so we sought a village that might take her in. Sorry was that village. Several months later, I chanced to meet her on this very beach. She was in the company of a young Ari fisherman. I knew at once she had found more than a home there. I saw them, them here many a times after that. She found something comforting about this place, I think. According to the reports from Ratsatan, the memories and desires of those who turn can influence their behavior as blasphemies. And perhaps Minato's memories are what compelled the beast to come here. That would also explain its timid nature. Minato was never one for violence, and the sight of you, blade drawn, no doubt stirred what little the woman remains in that monster. If that is the case, an assault on the ka Kaiken is unlikely, guarded as it is by a samurai. But how are we to fight an enemy so quick to flee at the first sign of danger? <sighs> Robbed of her parents, her husband, and now her life. I would rather we didn't have, it, have to at all. But I understand full well the risk we take by doing nothing. If we catch sight of the blasphemy again, we will be, we, you will be the first to know. Perhaps the next time we can put her soul to rest. There is not to do now, but bide our time. Come, let us return to the Enclave. There, quick quest! Given how what we have learned, it seems likely the blasphemy will return to Shoal Rock, but that knowledge will avail us not if we cannot prevent it from escaping again. Lord Hien, on behalf of the people of Asari, we have come with a request. We welcome you with open arms and open hearts. What it is you, you would ask of me. Those returned to us in the prisoner exchange have been granted shelter at the Kankan. That they yet live is an affront to the Kami's grand design, and the spirits of our loved ones suffer for it. Balance must needs be restored, so I beseech you to render them unto their godless goddess is Izanami. Absolutely not. Tis not our place to pray on the deaths of others, nor draw steel to sate mere bloodlust. When I take a life, can it be by command of my own? By com be it by command or my own hand, I do so not in service to vengeance, but to uphold my duty to Doma and her people. How did you mercy? Did your mercy of Yatsuyu serve your your duty? How were your people ever made better by the sight of her walking free? For her crimes and her cruelty, I cut her down the day we took Doma Castle. I sought to kill her, and by right she should have died then and there. But the Kami willed otherwise. They returned, to her, uh, returned her to us alive and bereft of her memories. But no reconciliate collection of her with no recollection of deeds, would have been Suyu who faced punishment, not Yatsuyu. 
This was my judgment, and for it, you, you were denied the justice you deserve. You have every right to resent me. But you came before me and asked that I sacrifice men and women whose only crime was to suffer, to, conde to be condemned to a life of servitude. If you truly believe your cause to be sacrosanct, believe yourselves fit to bear the burden and swing the sword, and step forward. Sophistry and lies. They were meant to die. The spirits demand it. Are these the words of the dead or the living who yet mourn? Oh. Are these the... <laughs> Got to put my goggles up. Word of the Asari pri priestess and her gifts are spread far and wide, and I travel to see the truth of it myself. By coincidence, I cross paths with a traveler hailing from the self same village, who had a mind to return as well, but alas, could not. And so he bid me deliver a missive in his stead. Judging by the striking resemblance, I take it you are the young fisher Akitsu. This, this is a letter from my father. He was severely wounded in battle, but expects to make a full recovery. He's alive. But that would mean... Surely a woman of your talents can define a divine, a plausible explanation for this turn of events. You shall pay for this contumely. My daughter will make certain of it. Contumely? Hold on, I, I gotta find the uh, definition of this word. I am not familiar with this word. Contum me. Definition. Insolent or insulting language or treatment. Contumely. 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 Yeah. Contumely. The church should not be exposed to gossip and contumely. Apologies for their abrupt and over otherwise an announced arrival. As you can see, my lord Yen, I am returned. Full glad am I of it. Thanks to your timely arrival, you have given the lie to he says claims of preternatural powers. I gather you have not appraised of recent events. Aye. It did not take long to learn the state of affairs here at Doma, and that my assistance may be required. I had heard tales of Kisei's traveling the dead, including the father of one young fisherman. Imagine my surprise when I saw this spirit in the flesh. He was also on pilgrimage, paying respects to the departed, and we chanced to meet in a liberation front infirmary. Would that we have not brought back to all together under such circumstances, but I am glad to see you all hail and hope, or hail and hearty. Humbo, 
Is something matter? I I wish to apologize, Lord Hien. I was wrong of me to say the things I said. I understand nothing can bring back my father, but I was so angry I... Please, Tambo, you needn't apologize. Since my brother was always so brave, but father's death was more than he could bear. It turned him into that monster. If he wasn't brave enough, what chance do I have? We wanted to perform the rites for Father, but the body was never returned to us, so... Not that I blame you for that, Lord Yen. I understand nothing could be done. That Akitsu's father survived is nothing short of a miracle, but I fear he is indeed the rare exception. I have offered prayers at more graves than I can count. Be cruel to give others the false hope that their loved ones might return. And yet, Kisei continues to do just that, offering comfort with her lies. A tempting but ephemeral balm for wounds that have yet to heal. Much like the anger some harbor for you, a resentment for the families restored, but others, while well, theirs remain broken. But for those like that poor boy whose hearts you, hearts lack for hatred, who know only sadness and despair? Aye, they too may turn. Exposing the truth of Kisei's deception hasn't, hasn't helped matters. We are to prevent more suffering. We must pursue a lasting solution. Be most grateful for your counsel, Gosetsu, which is much I could learn from your pickle. There is much I could learn from your pilgrimage. If there is aught you require, then say the word, and it shall be done. It is the least I can do for the part I played in Yotsuyu's tragedy. Failed her in the end, but I will not fail you, my lord. Thank you again for your aid, Emigos. The day's events have given me much to consider. When our next step is decided, you will be first to know. It's two more and we can <laughs> die in the machinist drop here. Currently there has been no sightings of the blasphemy since our first encounter in Shoal Rock. As Tansui he surmised, it seems to fear confrontation. We, for our part, have tried to make good use of this intervening calm. Even now, Lord Hien and Gosetsu discuss how they might prevent other villagers from turning. If you would wait here a moment. You would no doubt wish to hear your thoughts on the matter. I forgot to put my goggles up again. Got a roleplay. Emigo, so glad you you could come. As you hear, you know... Doubt explained, the blasphemy continues to elude us, and so we have turned our attention to other matters we we can and should address. After long discussions and much deliberation, we believe we have found a means to allay the, the growing malaise of our people. If you would, Gosetsu. The idea came to me after considering young Tombo's remarks about her, his father, whose body has never found and returned to Doma. Others, no doubt, share in his melancholy, unable to bury and mourn their loved ones, as is their right. Put simply, we cannot make peace with their loss, their anguish, if, if left to linger, could consume them as well. That we might provide the people of Doma with comfort and closure, we will hold a national funeral at the Swallow's Compass. Those who choose to attend will be asked to present personal effects of the disease they wish to be enshrined. No. Spirits reside in all things, be they living or inanimate, and though we may die, a part of us lives on in the items we cherish most in life. Therefore, in lieu of remains, names, those belongings will be afforded a place in the royal mausoleum, that the spirits of those 
lost to us may find their way home to Doma. And at last, no peace. The announcement has already been made, and a great many people are now engaged in a difficult task of deciding which keepsake will serve as their offering. It is not a decision to be made lightly, but I suspect they will have made up their minds by the time we go to collect their chosen tokens. I also hope to learn more of their departed from those willing to speak with me, for my benefit and for theirs. To break free of their sorrow, they must seek joy in the memories and the love they shared with the departed, and I will help them find it. Might the Liberator of Doma be willing to favor the people with his presence as well? I doubt not that they will appreciate the gesture. And this time I'll have my goggles up. Good. Giri, I leave the people of Asari to you. Rosetsu, might I ask you to... Apologies, my lord, but there is a small but most urgent matter I must first tend to. Very well. I shall not pry. Now, Imagus, let us go and pay a visit to the good people of Namai. Right then, before we begin, I would remind you that we would need only listen to the tales of loved ones. As overseer of the ceremony, the Sia is by duty to deliver the, their effects personally. Because of this, it is the utmost importance that we keep clear of any beasts that might damage our cargo. It goes without saying how important it is that our offerings are delivered in pristine condition and it will be no good for you to in a fight while heavily encumbered. Oh shit. <laughs> If stealth or flight is not an option, I must ask you to fight for us both. But you needn't worry unless the occasion arises. For now, let us be off. Okay. For good measure, I'm going to make sure my chocobo is... I'll give him the free stance so that he can do some healing too. My husband, my dearest Maroya, never returned from Garlemald, but perhaps now his soul might find no peace. Please take this painting brush to the Swallow's campus, Compass. I shall handle it with the utmost care. Might you trouble us to tell us more of your husband? Maria was a kind and gentle soul. There was nothing he loved more than the world then to create. That brush never left his side, not even when he tended the fields. And his spare moment was dedicated to his craft, and he produced the most wonderful vistas of Yencha. It was his dream to take us to Kugane, where he would become a famous artist. Until he was conscripted. In the early days, he would send drawings of the places they took him, though I know not how. But more time began to pass between each, each arrival, and then they stopped coming all together. I know not if that what far-flung land he died, but I pray it was as beautiful as his works. He sounds like quite a man, to hold fast to his art even when forced to endure such hardship. His soul will find peace, and of that I have no doubt. Oh, 
We must thank you again, Lord Hien, for this honor. My son would have been overjoyed to know that his katana would be enshrined at the Swallow's Compass. Nay, the honor is mine. I'm sure your son was a fine warrior. Aye, and so was I once upon a time. A samurai, as it happens. Service to your father when the Empire first invaded our lands. Though we were defeated, our spears broken, my son Motosu, Motosu was never one to lose hope. He was determined to follow my footsteps, gave his everything to honing his skill with the blade. When I watched him train, I felt the pride I thought I'd forsaken swell in my breast. I knew he would restore our family to its former glory. Alas... He could have fled, perhaps started life anew as a vagabond of some sort, but he bore the burden and fought for Garlemald, for fear of what the Imperials might do if he did not. It is plain he was a loving son and a true and a warrior true. I will care for this blade as if it were mine own, and see it given the honor and respect due to a samurai of Doma. I realize it's quite large, but I wanted to offer this on behalf of my brother and our father, Tsuzushiro. If you are willing, I would very much like to hear more about them both. My father... He was a carpenter. He was a good man, if, if a bit stubborn. Always thinking about his work, the only time he ever seemed to enjoy himself was when he had a cup of sake in his hand. When my brother came of age, he took up the trade as well. It brought them closer. I'd see them laughing over drinks together or listening in silence to the cricket singing over the moonlight. I wanted to join them one day. That was... This was their favorite sake. I thought they would, they might miss it. I am sure it will taste all the sweeter I've come from you. I realize no one has ever can ever replace your brother or father, but if you will allow, I'll be honored to share drinks with you in their stead. When you're of age, of course. This should be everything. Would you join me for a short re reprieve before I journey back? Look, just put that into your bag of folding and then you don't have to worry about it. You know? Bag will only weigh about 15 pounds. That's it. We put on brave faces, but the people of Namai are still wracked with grief. It is the same at every village I have visited in recent days, but it is only now that I am struck with the con contradictory nature of my goals. Having joined the Eastern Alliance and taken steps to revitalize the Enclave, I believe Doma was at last on the path to peace and prosperity. I still do, but by focusing so keenly on the future, I have neglected the past that yet haunts my people. Even if they do not give in to despair and become beasts that plague our lands, like poor Tombo's brother, how are we to truly move forward if we are constantly looking back? Is 
there not someone with whom you yourself grieve? Me? All things considered, I suppose, it was only a matter of time before the subject was broached. Ha! Ah, he cuts to the heart of the matter and the young lord. For the best, I should think, for he cannot lead by example if he has not yet made peace. Is this Gosetsu or is this somebody else? Yeah, it's Gosetsu. Oh, he's got a sword with him. Thousand apologies, my lord. I was passing through, tending to the matters of which I spoke early, when I ch chanced to hear familiar voices in the distance. If I may be so bold, the people of Doma one and all understand the, the source of your pain. To lose your father in the turmoil of a failed rebellion, the staggering duty to the throne thrust upon you, I, how could you even begin to mourn when first you had to lead? I would behoove you to take part in the funeral rites, my lord. Take this time to make peace with your past, or it is still yours to spend. Though unlikely, if not impossible, were you to become a monster as well, Toma would surely be lost. I thank you for your counsel, Gosetsu. But if I may ask, why is it you keep your blade at the ready? I thought this personal matter of yours be naught but a trifle. Or am I mistaken? Well, uh, I... I found the katana a superior tool for peaten persimmons. Speaking of which, I do believe my stomach begs for sustenance. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> Training. It helps lay the blasphemy, no doubt. <sighs> Fitting that he should offer me counsel, yet refuse to heed it in kind. He is not the warrior he once was. He is wise, our obstinate friend. If I am to be perfectly honest, it frightens me to recall it. The moment it all came crashing down. We'd taken Donum at the castle. Victory was ours. When we looked out and saw the banners of the Twelfth Legion marching towards us. Crown Prince at the fore. No sooner had Gosetsu and I escaped than we received word that Xenos had slain my father. I remember how the fight went out out of Gosetsu in an instant, yet he wept for his lord, while I felt the weight of the profound duty bear down upon my shoulders, crashing, suffocating, the heat of my own breath, the chill of my clammy palms. But duty demanded I master my emotions, when all those around me, Gosetsu included, were consumed by anger and a thirst for vengeance, I had to be in control. Under my orders, we dispersed and fled to fight another day. To this day, I have not stopped to reflect on my father's death. How could I, devoted as I am to finding Doma's way forward? But now I must. And so, having taken you into my confidence, would you see this through with me to the end? The keepsake I would offer up for the funeral is hidden in a place not easily reached. We will have to fly there, I'm afraid. But where not, my yole will ferry us just... ferry us just a moment. I have a yole, too. Ah, see, there's the two yoles. The place we seek is Plum Spring in the mountains, shall we? I think, like, to unlock the Namazu, Namazu? Or one of the quests for the Namazu? There's a trip to here. It's here. Thank you. 
My parents would bring me here for, for her mommy as a child. Its beauty and serenity was such that I could forget the realities of the occupation. Indeed, some of my fondest memories of family are here, which is precisely why I chose this place to conceal the singular gift my father bequeathed to me as a child. Charming, is it not? The great auspice Gitang Dashang said to reside somewhere along the Dai Ryu chain. In those days, anyone and everyone knew the tales of his proud prowess. The reckless boy that I was, I once even tried to seek him out, hoping may, uh, he might help us. I buried it here shortly after my coming of age ceremony. It seemed a fitting place to put bo to both part of my childhood and offer a final goodbye to my mother. More a keepsake of mine than his, to be sure, but he is never a man of worldly possessions. Still, I suspect he would allow himself a rare smile if he were to see it again after all these years. In fact, the... the the auspice he's referring to, you actually fight when you do the dungeon, the Swallow's Compass, if I remember correctly. That is precisely how I wish to bid him farewell, with a smile. Ah, I should go without saying that I would prefer it not to become known that I kept this doll here. Wouldn't want the children to grow jealous now, would you? Would we? And with that, I believe it is time we return to the Enclave. There are yet more villages to visit and offerings to collect, but preparations are proceeding apace. Soon the people will have one less cause to be tempted down the path of despair. Of course, there still remains the problem of the blasphemy. The former conscripts will remain the kindkin ki kind until it has been dealt with. You will slay the beast in due time, but before that, I would be honored if you would were present for the funeral rites. Pray speak with Yugiri when next you visit the Enclave, and she will tell you more of the proceedings. Here we go. Time to get unlock the diable gear for machinist. And technically also bard and dancer. As ever, your time is impeccable. We but moments ago completed preparations for the funeral. I will inform Lord Hien of your arrival. You're here! Excellent! The blasphemy continues to shine our settlements, and I mean to make the most of the time its absence affords us. I assume you are planning to take part in the ceremony? Glad to hear it. Fortunately, Gosetsu will not be joining us today. He's injured himself, as I knew he would, with his secret training, and now grumbles from the confines of his bed. But he will be fine in due course. We may worry over his convalescence after the funeral. So here's a thought. I would think that my character would also take place, uh, take part in the funeral as well, just kind of symbolic. Because the adoptive parents of, in the case of Emigos and Esagos and Exagos and Ariaya, or Ariana, Ariana, um, something like that. I haven't quite figured out the uh, the uh, Mikote girl's name, which is Elagos's actual birth parents, uh, died in the calamity. 
So, Elagos would actually be the one that's in this place because he's the warrior of light. The rest are just his siblings who just happen out of mirac some miraculous thing also have the echo so can accompany him on uh, trials and other journeys. Um, we probably uh, brought something. I don't know what it would be. But I would think it would be a nice touch. And what if the other people saw Warrior of Light participating? All right. So the Swallow's Compass. Where is the Swallow's Compass? I forgot where it is. It is right here. That's actually not far from where we get out of here. We leave the, the Enclave. So we'll just go to the Aetherite. Right? Travel to the one, one River, which will take us out. Hop on a griffin. Ooh, that's not good. This is the Swallow's Compass. Welcome to Lagtown. There we go. Oh wait, hold on. Time to put the goggles down. Cause we're going in this and I won't be, I'm sure I won't get the chance to put the goggles down during it. Oh, I might. This just should arrive that long and we may begin. Lord Yen, I... Apologize, my lord, for my past transgressions. I yearn to believe my daughter was a kami reborn, but you are right. She is a monster. Words can I ill express my shame at advocating the conscripts be sacrificed to appease the dead. Nay, this ceremony shall serve far, far better. And so, as a humble citizen donor, I offer my deepest gratitude and beg for your forgiveness. I would make an offering on behalf of my husband. Oh, let me. This is old lady. I would make an offering on behalf of my my husband and son, as well as my dear stepdaughter, Minato. I throw myself at your mercy, Lord Yen. Allow them peace within the mausoleum. That their spirits may know peace. There is no need to beg forgiveness, Kisei. Please rise. Come for you. Pop 
by the Connie. She gave her life to draw out the blasphemy. Here we go. I have not used chainsaw, so I'm going to try it out. I think it's the What you want to bet somewhere along the lines? I should probably use Texas one there. I do have an ant. Ugh, this is not looking good. We have no healer! Because that's who's going to appear, right? It's, that's what's going to happen. There he is! Conjury. He's become a he, he, he's become a conjurer. Apologies for the untimely arrival, my lord. Kosetsu, what is that staff? Pilgrimage proved the most ended lightning experience, and is is where I chance to discover the benefits of aesthetic training. Hmm. I may no longer be fit to wield the blade, my lord, but Shu Gendo fo force me another way to turn the tide of battle. Yeah. 
stubborn as ever, I shall be. I shall have to thank you later. He changed. Job change! Kosetsu had a job change! He is now a white mage cadre. Something like that. The Eastern version of white mage. Let's put an end to this. Yes, now we have a healer! This is going to make our job a whole lot easier, especially considering how hard Archie hits. Alright. <laughs> Get that chainsaw going. Oh shit. I am totally in the wrong place. Ugh, this is nothing. I went to the wrong place. I want to share the prince. Oh. This is uh, his version of Asylum or something. Well done, Gosetsu. Now I believe it's past that. the time we put Renato's soul to rest. I'm gonna go over to Bike Gosetsu. Okay. Fantastic. Basically, everything is like the Eastern version of of Congre. It's but a scratch.
We deceive her to the bitter, bitter end, but she is still a daughter of Doma. She will have a proper burial and her family's belongings enshrined with the others. I have gathered you here here today to not to speak of the future, but to reflect on the past, to pay respects to loved ones fallen on the field of battle. In honor of their sacrifices, these sons and daughters of Doma shall be given a place here at the Swallow's Compass. Though they no longer walk with us in life, they walk with us in spirit. Pray never forget their bravery that the memories of their legacy give you comfort and strength. Maria Motokawa, the aspiring painter, he was a man who saw beauty in all things, and one day would have become a renowned artist in Kugani. Motosuyo Jitu, a warrior in training, he longed to become a samurai like his father and bring honor to his family. Tuzushiro Kodakumi, the carpenter, a man who wholly dedicated to his craft who hoped to one day pass on his talents to his two young, loving children. Oh. And lastly, Minato Chihogaki and her stepmother Kise. Theirs was once a happiness to be envied. Minato's parents were murdered by Imperial soldiers. And after being rescued by the Confederacy, Minato was given into the care of the village of Asari. Though she arrived with a broken heart, it was soon mended by the man who would become her husband, the son of Kise, who herself had been born to Asari on winds of tragedy. Kise was a child of the deep, born in Suinosato. For her gifts, she was exiled but with her courage and tenacity found a new home on the shores of the Ruby Sea. She was a devoted wife and mother, and though not related by blood, she loved Minato as she were the, their own. That is how she lived, how they all lived, and how they should be remembered. Let your hearts swell not with sorrow, but with the joy for their memory. Know that proof of their mark left on this world shall remain here, enshrined within the Swallow's Compass for all eternity. Let us still our voices and in silence pray for their souls, that they may share in the peace we have found. Maybe cry during World Quests. was very nice. <laughs> Have I ever mentioned how much I loved Lord, Lord Hian? Daddy Gotsetsu. Oh, man. Anyways. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting battle with the blasphemy as a prelude to the ceremony. At least now we can b may breathe easy, if only for a short while. The villagers all returned home, and I believe this time we did the same. We've held a national funeral and slain a blasphemy besides. A rather productive day, would you not agree? The former conscripts will be elated to finally return home. Speaking of returns, I think I speak for us all that 
When I say your appearance at Swallow's Compass came as something of a shock. What of your injuries from training? Quite painful for some time, I assure you. Despite my best efforts to reclaim my former skills, my back and hips vigorously protested. I planned to sleep that I might be well rested for the morrow's hunt, but a voice called out to me. I was needed, so I grabbed my cane and ran as quickly as my alien body would allow. Cane suits you, Gosetsu, but your mastery of healing magics was a sight to behold. Almost almost as surprising as your resurrection following the fall of Doma Castle. I am still but an office in dire need of training. It is my hope that I will be able to refine my aesthetic arts during my next pilgrimage. So you are leaving then? We're not lord yet. Should you find yourself in dire straits once more, I shall fly to your side. Not as a samurai, perhaps, but I will nonetheless give our enemies cause to tremble. With that, I take my leave. Gosetsu, a wandering healer. No wonder. Ah. Uh. No, that was a really bad joke. Though it may be years, if not decades, until we truly make peace with our past, we, we have turned a corner and begun to heal. We may look to the future and put in by grief, ignored, by grief ignored and sadness denied. The path ahead is ever fraught with peril, but we shall walk it with eyes and club, and with pride. You have done so much for us, for Doma. I wish there was more I could do for you. Yeah, just, just tell me to go back to the uh, sun drop so that I can get my dialable job, job gear. Or allow my job gear to be dialable. I may uh, ask one last favor before you leave. Please inform our representative at Ratsat Han that the blasphemy has been vanquished and the people at Doma are safe. With any luck, our experience here will prove useful to other nations that yet grapple with these beasts. The in future things, after doing all these role quests, there will be some additional quests, which will be optional. Uh, the role quests technically are optional, but come on. You complete these quests to be able to get, get your job gear diable. Why would you not? All right, back to Rats at home. And then we'll do down up and start the next one. I do want to be out of here by four o'clock, so I have a few hours before I was allowed tonight. Uh, to, and uh, I was allowed tonight so I can make my meal. Because that's at least an hour in the oven. And then I have to assemble it, and it's, just, it's, a, it's a whole thing. Master Amigos, you've returned. What word from Doma? Exposition. The blasphemy is no more. That's the most wonderful news. I must inform the other delegates at once. Thank you again for answering our summons. If another threat should rear its dastardly head, I pray you can count on your assistance again. And I'll drive the die the drop specific here yeah, level ninety physical ranged DPS. Alright. Die, die, die. Uncles have been died. 
This outfit has been dyed. All red, like it should be. Of course, here's the thing is. For Red Mage, it's already red. I don't have to dye this. But Sword could probably use a little more red. I really don't know why it's a, a focus is an egg, but hey. A little help the Ush Guardians out nonetheless. Next time. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna... I, this time I'm going to refresh my... My, uh... Coffee. See you in a few minutes for those live. See you in the next video for everybody else.